हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर एस एस देश पांडे प्रिंसिपल ऑफ जे जी कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स अहमदाबाद नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग इनकम इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड नाउ लेट अस बिगिन विद द मीनिंग ऑफ इनकम इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड एंड देन वी विल कम टू द फैक्टर्स नाउ सी इफ द कंज्यूमर्स इनकम इंक्रीजेस and as a result of increase in the income if consumer increases the demand for a particular product by a very large extent so then we will say that the income elasticity of demand for that product is very high on the other hand if the income of the consumer increases and as a result of this increase in the income he increases the demand for the product but slightly so then we will say that the income elasticity of demand for that product is very low so income elasticity of demand basically means the extent of change in demand because of change in the income of the consumer so always remember greater the change in the demand higher is the income elasticity of demand and if the demand is changing only slightly it will mean that the income elasticity of demand is less now in this video we are trying to understand or which are the different factors determining the income elasticity of demand whether the arrow will be small or it will be large it depends on three factors and these three factors are known as factors affecting income elasticity of demand i repeat whether the size of the arrow will be large or will it be small it depends on three factors which are known as factors affecting income elasticity of demand now there are there are three factors affecting income elasticity of demand the first factor is the nature of the product the second is called the level of consumer's income and the third is the percentage of income spent on the product let us try to understand the first one that is the nature of the product okay now on the basis of the nature of the product the goods can be divided into two parts the basic necessities and the luxury goods what do you mean by a basic necessity basic necessities are those goods without which the people cannot survive the goods without which we cannot live are known as the basic necessities the best examples of necessities are drinking water food etc on the other hand luxury goods are those goods without which we can live and survive for example an air conditioner a motor car refrigerator all of these goods are known as the luxury goods now we are trying to prove that in case of basic necessities the income elasticity of demand will be less whereas in case of luxury goods the income elasticity of demand will be very high so whether the elasticity will be less or more that means whether the size of the arrow will be small or large ultimately depends on the type of the product or the nature of the product if the product if the product is a basic necessity by nature the elasticity will be low and if the product is a luxury good by nature then the elasticity will be high now why it will be so we will try to understand now see if someone's income decreases if the income decreases he will still have to maintain the consumption of basic necessities like drinking water so no matter how much the income of the consumer decreases he will still have to continue the same amount of consumption of food and water so even if the demand decreases in case of necessities it will decrease only slightly and since the demand is falling only slightly in case of necessities we say that the income elasticity will be low on the other hand in case of luxury goods the demand will fall by a very large extent because of the fall in income if someone's income decreases and he is no longer able to afford the luxury goods he can simply stop the consumption he can completely reduce the demand so in case of luxury goods with the decrease in income the demand can be reduced by a very large extent but in case of necessities with the decrease in income either the demand will not fall at all 
and even if it falls it will fall slightly see when the income is high people may waste the product because they can afford now the income decreases they will waste less food they will waste uh, less water so demand will go down but slightly so this is the cost factor the nature of the product which decides whether the elasticity will be high or it will be low the next factor is the level of consumer's income now we want to prove that if the consumer's income is very low the income elasticity will be high but if the consumer's income is very high if he is having a very high income then the income elasticity will be low how will we prove it i repeat we want to prove that at lower levels of income the income elasticity of demand is higher and at higher levels of income the income elasticity of demand is less so this is how we prove it now we are assuming that there is an individual who is having a very less income of rupees 1000 so here on the left side we are talking about someone who is poor on the right side we have taken someone who is extremely rich his income is rupees 5 lakhs per month so these are all monthly incomes okay so the first individual has a very negligible or less income of rupees 1000 per month and the second individual who is rich is having and uh, he is having a monthly income of rupees 5 lakh now we are increasing the income of both the individuals the poor as well as the rich so suppose uh, the first individual's income has been increased by 100 rupees now the question is what will this person do with the additional 100 rupees which he gets he is a poor fellow with a very low level of income just 1000 rupees per month so if his income increases by 100 rupees that is by 10% will he spend the entire additional income or will he save it the answer is he is going to spend the entire additional income of 100 rupees so what will happen is uh, when you give 100 rupees of extra income to individual a okay he will spend the entire additional income so you can see that the income was increased by 100 rupees and he has spent the entire 100 rupees of income and why he will do so the original income of 1000 rupees is so less that most of the wants remain unsatisfied with with 1000 rupees of monthly income majority of the wants are unsatisfied so as soon as the income increases from 1000 to 1100 immediately the entire additional income of 1000 will be spent in the market see this poor fellow cannot afford to save 100 rupees it is said that saving is a luxury which a rich can afford so as soon as his income increases by 100 rupees the entire additional income of 100 rupees is likely to be spent now suppose we are increasing the income of this rich fellow from 5 lakh to 5 lakh 50000 now there are high chances that this additional income of 50000 will be saved why because the original income of 5 lakh itself is so high that most of the wants are already satisfied so now if he gets additional 50000 rupees there are more chances that these 50000 rupees will be saved in the bank instead of being consumed so when here the income increases by 10% that is by 50000 rupees It is quite possible that demand may remain constant; it may not change at all. So, what we have proved is that at lower level of income, when the income increases, the demand will increase by a very large extent. The entire additional income will be spent in case of poor with low level of income because most of his wants are unsatisfied. So, income elasticity will be high at lower level of income, and at a higher level of income. since majority of the wants are already satisfied when the income increases there is no increase in the demand because the entire additional income will be saved in the bank now the third and the last factor affecting income elasticity of demand is the percentage of income spent on the product now there are some products on which we spend a very low percentage of our total income 
on the other hand there are goods on which we spend a very high percentage of our income now matchbox is a product on which the individual is spending only 5 rupees per month now this is less than 1% of the total income of rupees 10000 now even if the income decreases from 10000 to 5000 okay even at this reduced income these 5 rupees are very much affordable and therefore there is no need to reduce the demand by a very large extent so the goods on which the consumer is spending very less percentage of his income the income elasticity of demand will be very less on the other hand there can be items like like the house rent on which the consumer is spending a substantial proportion of his income out of the total income of 10000 he is spending 4000 on his house rent now suppose if the income decreases from 10000 to 5000 the rent of rupees 4000 per month will not be affordable and therefore he will have to change the house the demand will have to be reduced by a very large extent so any product on which the consumer is spending a significant or substantial portion of his income will find a very high income elasticity of demand so these are the three important factors affecting the income elasticity thank you thank you very much